We are at the uh, Kamikaze Museum. Unfortunately, they do not allow photography inside the museum. In the battle for Okinawa, there was 1,036 kamikaze attacks and pilots. Of that number, 439 came from Shiran Air Base, which is here in Shiran, Japan, uh, just outside of uh, Kagoshima. And the Ka Shiran Peace Museum for Kamikaze Pilots is dedicated to the over 1,000 uh, aviators that participated in the Battle of Okinawa. Of the thousand kamikaze pilots that participated and attacked in the Battle of Okinawa, 335 were classified as young boy pilots. Uh, they say as young as 14. Uh, in my studies and research, I've found that uh, 17 years of age seems to be the, the youngest pilot. In reading uh, letters and journals from survivors, not all of them really wanted to be kamikaze pilots. The museum has four planes on display, the Nakajima 43, the Kawasaki 69, or 61, the Nakajima 84, and a Mitsubishi Zero. This airplane is the Nakajima Ki-43. This statue that we're approaching represents the mothers of the uh, kamikaze pilots as she is looking off towards what is this another statue of the kamikaze pilot. Here is the statue of the kamikaze pilot which is looking back at his mother. A letter one wrote kind of describes their thoughts. It said, Mother, I have nothing to say. In my last moments, and my first act of piety, I will smile and conquer with dry eyes and knowing I have done well. Please offer some rice dumplings at our Buddhist mortuary tablet. There are hundreds of these stone uh, lanterns scattered through the museum area and they represent, there's one for each one of the pilots that died. The kamikaze attacks began in October of 1944 at a time when the war was looking increasingly bleak for the Japanese. They had lost several important battles and many of their best pilots had been killed and their aircraft were becoming obsolete. They had lost command of the air. Japan was losing pilots faster than it could train them uh, and the industrial capability had uh, greatly been uh, diminished and uh, they could not replace the aircraft. These factors along with Japan's unwillingness to surrender led to the use of kamikaze tactics as the Allied forces advanced toward the Japanese homeland. I believe that the kamikazes were not designed to win the war but to make it so bloody that the Americans would come to the peace table and negotiate a peace with them that would allow the military to stay in power as well as the emperor. This temple is dedicated to the goddess of mercy. Uh, there's a image enshrined there. I didn't get a very good picture of it, but I got one of the outside uh, statue. Uh, the names of the Kamikaze pilots are written on a paper within her womb. As I said, they did not allow photography inside the museum, but they did allow me to take pictures of this Mitsubishi Zero that was recovered from the, the ocean floor back in 1988. As you can see, there's not a lot of it left, but uh, it, was, uh, it was very interesting and, and, and really kind of an honor for me to be close to uh, an airplane that uh, played such a vital role in history, even though it was not a, a peaceful role. Was still uh, fascinating to look at. Yeah. 
So the question becomes, was the kamikazes worth it? Uh, approximately 2,800 kamikaze attackers sank 34 Navy ships, damaged 368 others. They killed 4,900 sailors and wounded 4,800 sailors. And despite radar detection, uh, airborne interception, and massive anti-aircraft barrage, 14% of kamikaze survived to score a hit on a U.S. or an allied ship. Nearly 8.5% of all ships hit by the kamikazes sank. Stories such as these take on more value when you get on a personal level. This is Akari Yukoro. Akari Yukoro. Uh, he, at age 15, graduated from the uh, youth pilot training program, and at age 17, he took off uh, on his kamikaze flight. Uh, they think it, he was the youngest kamikaze pilot that we know of, and they think his plane was one of two that struck the USS Bain, killing 66 of its crew. However, the ship did not sink. In his letter home, he wrote to his mother, please find, ple please find pleasure in your desire for my loyalty to the emperor and devotion to parents. I have no regrets, I just go forward on my path. The loss of youth and innocence on both sides of the battlefield is one of the great casualties of war. If you liked our video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel Around the World in 274 Days, Bob Allen Travels. And be sure to hit the notification bell so you're notified the next time we post a video. Thanks for watching.